How you doing guys just deep here from just review welcome back to my channel hope you all having a good day so this is a smaller brother of Huawei P30 Pro but packs almost the same punch minus some features like wireless charging curved display and in display earpiece etc but also packs some additional features like a glorious headphone jack and a smaller form factor after the buzz of this phone and now this phone is available on some great prices. You can pick this up as cheap as 400 euros brand new. I have been using this phone for a long time now and just wanted to give my review and let you guys know um, how this phone is. We will start from unboxing and compare the price with some other phones from 2019 and 2020. Show you some cool features along with pros and cons and in the end of the video we'll let you know some alternatives for this phone so stay tuned and watch this video full and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button so it comes in very nice packaging and i have um, i have got a mirror finish or you can case uh, you can say silver finish which I think uh, better looking than aura or black color it supports type C cable and comes with 22.5 watt supercharger which is fast charger and it charges from 0 to 100 in almost 95 minutes I really like the quality of earphones and they sound great in my testing it comes with hybrid sim slot volume rocker and power button are on the left which i have to say very tactile feel to it let's look at the specs very quickly it has 6.1 oled 1080p gorgeous screen 6 or 8 gigabytes of ram and 128 gb inbuilt storage which is fast storage by the way it's made of gorilla glass and aluminum body which is very common in flagships these days unlike p30 pro it has rating of ip53 for dust and splash proofing it comes with kirin 980 chip which is octa core processor and is blazing fast for day-to-day -day task nfc is on the board for secure android payment now some pros Content looks great on this display with 422 ppi and accurate colors. P30 has only one speaker at the bottom but gets very loud and clear on max volume. At 449 nits of manual brightness works like a charm in daylight and auto mode it goes for more. Fingerprint scanner is very fast and accurate but not 100%. It misses my fingerprint touch time to time but face unlock works very good and opens your phone like iOS way playing games on this phone is very impressive it can run PUBG on extreme FPS which was not possible on last year processor which was Snapdragon 845 in Samsung S9 plus and OnePlus 6T or something because of 3.5 millimeter jack I can put my stereo quality of headphone from Audio Technica unlike new flagships these days. Plus sound quality is on power to iPhone or Samsung flagships. Best thing about this phone is performance and touch response and I am yet to see any lag on this phone. Everything feels very smooth and fast. Plus after the MIUI and Android 10 update it's more better looking and animation looks awesome. Talking about battery, which is going to give you no issue in full day heavy use. I easily got more than one day of usage in my testing. Call quality is loud and clear also, in loudspeaker and earpiece works are great. Gestures are my next big thing on this phone. After using iPhone 10 for a long time, I thought I wouldn't be able to go back to those ugly looking three buttons from Android. But then I used uh, some color OS gestures 
they were fine but it wasn't that much great but these gestures works as smooth as iOS and I think they are better in some ways since this is the camera centric phone very less complaints in that department it has triple camera setup out of those first one is 40 megapixel super spectrum f 1.8 joined by 16 megapixel wide angle camera and last is telephoto camera all those camera clicks great pictures with good colors and great dynamic range and it's like a king in low light photos in video department footage is very sturdy and delivers good quality there is no 60 fps in 4k but 30 fps does the job done see the samples for yourself and audio is from and without any mic some cons now as i mentioned already in the start even though phone is flagship, it does not have wireless charging, IP68 rating and dual speaker setup. And the front facing camera quality is average only. I really wished it had 4K 60fps but 30fps is not a deal breaking. No LED notification light is present and infrared sensor is missing too. Overall many good things to say about this phone and few dislikes which is a sign of a great phone some good alternatives for this phone in this price range are x2 pro one plus seven not the 70 that's more expensive galaxy a71 or maybe galaxy s10e also this is all for this video let me know if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.